So you're absolutely sure that Sam and Grace slept apart? I am positive. I'm looking at them right now. And by the looks of it, Sam is not very happy with his new sleeping arrangements. Oh, great. I could use some good news. It's been hell around here with Teresa playing queen for a day. I'm not interested in your problems. In fact, this phone call, just consider it my notice. Excuse me. Yep, I'm quitting. I, uh, I've got some important business out of town, and frankly, I'm just not interested in your rotten scheme to snare Sam anyway. Well, I don't accept your resignation, David. Unless, of course, you want me to go public with your sordid past, but I didn't think you wanted your dear, precious son, John, to know about his dear old dad. You are a rotten, disgusting little... I will save it for your memoirs, David. You will meet me where we plan. You're not backing out of me. Unless, of course, you want me to make sure that your son despises you for the rest of your life. Damn you, Ivy! I knew you'd come around. Answer me, John. How long have you been staring there? I just came in. Why? Well, nothing. I, you know, you surprised me. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to tell you I was heading over to the Bennetts. I've actually got to go over there, too. I wanted to uh, check on Grace. Sure thing. Well, listen, you go over there, and I will, I will catch up with you. Dad? Yes? Thank you for bringing me to Harmony and letting me get to know my mother. She's perfect. Yeah, she's... Uh, she's very special. No wonder you fell in love with her and got married. I think your premonition is right, Grace. Ivy's not going to stop until she gets her hooks into Sam. come at a bad time. Oh, no, don't be so. I'm just waiting for Kay to come downstairs so then a little heart to heart. How are you? Fine, Mom. Huh? Is everything okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. <laughs> no, nope, just me. Giving our sainted mother a hard time. Kay. What, Mom? John's family. Why shouldn't he hear the whole ugly truth about what a horrible person All right, Kay, I that's am. enough. Oh, we could come back to the time if it's better. I just wanted to thank you for the breakfast you left for me. Oh, John, what'd she leave you? Pancakes? Bacon? Homemade biscuits. Yeah, it was amazing. I bet. You want to know what I get for breakfast? Cold cereal. All right, Kay, now you're exaggerating. I left you cold cereal one day last week because I had to go to the shop early. Mm -hmm. If you want pancakes, they're in the kitchen. Cold, no doubt. Hey, sis, you want to go for a ride or something? Mom said she'd loan me the car today. First of all, my name is Kay, not sis. And no, I don't want to go anywhere with you. Okay. John, I'm... The keys are in the kitchen. Why don't you help yourself? Thanks. See you later. Easy does it, okay? Easy does it yourself, bro. All right, Kay, that is enough. I'm not in front of David. Oh, why not? David is your first husband, isn't he? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. He's still your husband in the eyes of the church. Is that why John gets to borrow the car and I don't? All right, Kay, you are way over the line right now. Firstly, John is older than you are. Oh, so that's why I come second? Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Fifth, because I forgot about Jessica, Noah, and Charity. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Daddy's son, Ethan, forgot about him sixth. All right, young lady, you can feel as sorry for yourself as you want to, but you still owe me an explanation for what I walked in on upstairs. Miguel already explained it to you. He walked in on me on accident while I was in the shower. Is that really what it was? Okay, I am worried about you. We'll join the club. Because I'm worried about me, too. You know why? Because nobody around here gives a flying fig about me. Okay, that is not true. Now, I'm not saying I haven't made some mistakes, but I've always been a loving and caring mother. Oh, is that what you think? You know, last night you asked me where you went wrong as a mother. Do you really want to know the answer to that question or not? Kay, you can't talk to your mother like that. This is none of your business. So butt out. Kay. I thought you wanted to hear what a great mother you've been to me. Well, for starters, 
You always make sure you put me first. Unless Jessica, Charity, Noah, or anyone else in Harmony is having a bad day. You always take care of my needs, unless somebody else is getting your attention first. You always take my side when it comes to things or people that I love, unless someone else you care about loves that same person, and then you don't. Okay, Miguel loves Charity. I'm not finished yet. Last but not least, you always are very sensitive as to what it's like being your daughter. I mean, how many kids get to have moms with premonitions and amnesia who have husbands that turn up out of nowhere? You don't have any more of those hanging around in your past, do you? Kay. I thought you were going to stay out of this, David. Although, come to think of it, you do have some rights. Considering you're the only one around here with a legal relationship to my mother. Did it ever occur to you how difficult it would be on me finding out that I was your bastard? I will not have you using that language in my house. But bastard is the correct term for what I am, isn't it? Just like bitch is the right term for you. Get your hands off me!